Welcome to second part of divisibility test. We will start with divisibility by 11. A number is said to be divisible by 11 if the difference of sum of digits at odd places and the sum of digits at even places is either equal to 0 or divisible by 11. So the first thing that we have to do is to find out the sum of digits at odd places. And let's say the number is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the digits and uh, digits at odd places are G, E, C, A. And we have to find out the sum. So A plus C plus E plus G. And let's say the sum is equal to X. And now we have to find out the sum of digits at even places. F, D, B are the digits at even places and uh, the sum is equal to Y and now we have to find out the difference X minus Y and let's say it is equal to Z. If this Z is equal to 0 or it is divisible by 11 then we can say that this number A, B, C, D, E, F, G is also divisible by 11. Let's see one example. The number is 4832718. This is the number. And we have to find out the sum of digits at odd places. 8, 7, 3, 4 are the digits at odd places. So 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 and it is equal to 22. And uh, we have to find out the sum of digits at even places. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 and it is equal to 11. Now the difference is equal to 11 and 11 is divisible by 11. So the condition is satisfied and this number is divisible by 11. Now we will move to divisibility by 12. A number is said to be divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. If a number is divisible by 3 and 4 then it is divisible by 12. Let's take one example. 23988 8. and uh, for divisibility by 3 we have to add the digits and this is equal to 3030 and 30 is divisible by 3 so we can say that this number is divisible by 3 and for divisibility by 4 we have to consider the last two digits the last two digits are 88 and 88 is divisible by 4 so we can say that this number is also divisible by 4 as you can see this number is divisible by both 3 and 4 we can say that it is divisible by 12 as well now we will move to divisibility by 14 a number is said to be divisible by 14 if it is divisible by 2 as well as 7 let's take one example the number is 28 in case of divisibility by 2, we have to consider the units place. And at units place, we have 8. 8 is even number, so it is divisible by 2. So 28 is also divisible by 2. 28 is the number that is definitely divisible by 7. There is no certain rule to check for divisibility by 7. And as 28 is divisible by both 2 and 7, it is also divisible by 14. Now we will move to divisibility by 15. A number is said to be divisible by 15 if it is divisible by 3 as well as 5. For example, 2, 3, 4, 0. We will check for 3. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 0. It is equal to 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. And uh, for divisibility by 5, we have to consider the units place. At units place, we have 0. And for a number to be divisible by 5, at units place, we must have 0 or 5. And we have 0. So this number is divisible by 5. And hence, it is divisible by 15 as well. Now we will move to divisibility by 16. A number is said to be divisible by 16 if the number formed by the last four digits is divisible by 16. So if the number is A, B, C, D, E, F, then we have to consider the last four digits. 
CDEF. If CDEF is divisible by 16, then we can say that ABCDEF is also divisible by 16. Let's take one example. The number is 4760192. We have to consider the last four digits 0192. 0192 is divisible by 16 and it will give us 12. So we can say that the number 4760192 is also divisible by 16. Now we will move to divisibility by 24. A number is said to be divisible by 24 if it is divisible by both 3 and 8. Let's take one example. The number is 375192. For divisibility by 3, we have to add them 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 1 plus 9 plus 2 and uh, this is equal to 27. 27 is definitely divisible by 3. You can further add the digits 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. Now we have to check for divisibility by 8 and we have to consider the last 3 digits 192. 192 is divisible by 8 and we will have 24 so this is divisible by 8 and finally we can say that this is divisible by 24 as well the next divisibility that we have to study is divisibility by 40 a number is said to be divisible by 40 if it is divisible by both 5 and 8 let's take one example the number is 927480 for divisibility by 5, we have to consider the units place. At units place, we have 0. So this number is divisible by 5. And for divisibility by 8, we have to consider the last three digits. 480. 480 is divisible by 8. We have 6060. So this number is also divisible by 8. And now we can say it is divisible by 4040. The last one is divisibility by 80. A number is said to be divisible by 80 if it is divisible by both 5 and 16. Let's take one example. The number is 351040. For divisibility by 5, we have to consider the units place. We have 0 at units place, so it is divisible by 5. And for divisibility by 16, you can see from here, we have to consider the last 4 digits. The last 4 digits are 1040. 1040 is divisible by 16 and it is equal to I guess 65. So it is divisible by 16 and we can say that 351040 is also divisible by 80. So this is all for this presentation. From the next presentation we will start HCF and LCM. So see you in the next presentation.